Ladies and gentlemen, you're now tuned into the Mega Quan Show. I am Mega. And I am Quan. Welcome, good people. How are you all doing? How are you doing? I'm doing lovely. Thank you. You doing good? I am. Good, good, good. It's, it's good to be seen on this wonderful Tuesday. It is. It is, most definitely. Um, we are back for another installment of the Mega Quan Show. And we would like for you to like, share, share, and like. It doesn't cost you a thing. Just hit the share button, hit the like button. We'll go from there. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. As always, follow us, please. Instagram, Facebook. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. You can find us on all the, uh, all three of those platforms at the Mega Quan Show, sure, right? Yes, sir. Uh, what you smoking? I am smoking. Uh, Cro-Magnon Aquatane today. Ah. And I, something I don't get to smoke very often, but my local shop now carries them, so it's okay. Like, okay. Okay. Cool. That's what's up. Ain't nothing wrong with that at all, my brother. I am back on my Liga-ish. Um, okay. Liga Provider number nine. Drew Estate, Unico Series. You know how I do. Gotcha. Um, I light up and get things going. Hey, hey let me ask you a question, though, real quick. Okay. Did you share? I sure did. Darn. I already was on it. I told you I would get better in time. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. It, it, it happens. Yeah. You won't believe this. Look at my phone. Oh. Look, it's my phone. It I has don't a know crack in the see. back. At least it ain't in the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Screen be is beautiful. So we're, we're, we're good on that. Let me go down here and find our lovely show so that I can share it just like you did. Where, where did that happen at, sir? I was on vacation. I actually went out of town for what? Father's Day. Nice. I was out on the speedboat relaxing and chilling. You totally deserve that, sir. Yeah, you know. You gotta have a vacation. It's, it's not often that I go out of town. But it's a good vacation for that part too. So, you know, it's all good. Um, speaking of that, how was your Father's Day? My Father's Day was lovely. Good. I got to. Uh, spend it with my son. Had Wonderful. a beautiful dinner. Shout out to my awesome mother-in-law. She's she's like the best ever. That's what's up. Yep. Yes. Happy Father's Day to to everyone. Yes. I hope everybody had a, a fabulous Father's Day, even if you're not a father. That's right. Hey, Project Manager, just quick question: Do do we look like that on? Yes, we do. Don't we look like that's not good. That's not good at all. We're a little choppy. Okay. Do we sound choppy? No, we don't sound. Oh, well, that's okay. As long as long as as long you can as see we, us, right? Okay. You can see us, and we don't yeah, sound choppy. Looks, it's clearing up slowly, but surely. So. I hope so. It's, it's all right. good. It's all good. What are you um? Are you drinking today, sir? I am drinking a little uh, whistle pig rye. It's a ten year, yeah, ten year small batch rye. So that's what I'm sipping on. And I, I assume you're doing your Weller. I, I, I am. I am. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. You really like the Weller? I, I really do like the Weller. But after today, I probably won't have a drink for a while. <laughs> so, something tells me. Uh... <laughs> no, no, no bad. No, no, no bad experience or nothing like that. Just, you know, detoxing. Understood. We all got to go through it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Most definitely. Oh, wait. Oh, you already said you smoking your Liga today. That's right. Smoking That's my Liga. I'm back on it. That's back good. on it. I was uh, down in Tampa, and I didn't really, I really relaxed. You know, most of the time you you plan a trip and you're a little bit of everywhere and doing everything, but I really did nothing. Okay. I I, I took a, tr um, a visit to Davidoff in Tampa. I didn't even stay there and smoke. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was really it not. Um. Well, it was crowded oh, for one. Yeah. It was yeah, it was that, crowded right. for one, and um, I had met up with some people so it was eight of us so trying to find a seat for eight people not gonna work was well. not going to work i understand yeah 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 but it was I hope, cool I hope you did get to smoke down there though right oh every day okay good several times throughout the day absolutely wonderful man. yeah so, it was great we went to um season 52 and um anyway 
down to four teams y'all four. just four and that is both both teams kind of went down to you know seven game stretches yes, and who won on sunday what them ha 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 hawks, them hawks they was ba, 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 ba. three and three and they <laughs> actually pulled out the win and they it was did, a good man. win because oh yeah it that was amazing. It was, was a good clap. one. Let's get a clap for that. Yeah. Yes. It was good to see a Hawks win something. I promise you. The, it was, city, it the was. city needs anything. All the wins. <laughs> All the wins we need. So tonight, the uh, Clippers and the Suns are playing. They are, the Suns are up by one. Um, and then tomorrow, the Hawks, I mean, the um, yeah, the Hawks, the Hawks and the Bucks. And the Bucks. Play tomorrow their first game. If you're checking out on ESPN tonight you're probably going to be watching in a little while the NBA I mean the um NBA draft lottery starts that tonight starts huh. tonight at 8 30. Okay. who you got okay and who you got because I got I got I got some people I ain't got no people sorry I'm, I'm gonna tell you so the, the the top 10 right now is um coming from Oklahoma um you got um Mobley from USC mm-hmm. Suggs from Gonzaga, Green from USA, um, Jonathan, I'm not going to mess up his last name, from the Congo. Um, Kuni, Kuni. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Sorry. So, see? <laughs> exactly. You got Scotty from uh, Florida State. You got... Uh, Scotty Barnes. That's right. You got yeah. Mitchell from Baylor. You got Johnson from Tennessee. You got Jalen from Duke. And you got Wagner from Michigan. So... Michigan. Who you got as your top five? Let us know. Yeah. See how well you panned out. What you looking forward to seeing? That's right. And that's right. Can we have comments up there? No. Are we good? Yeah, yeah we, we will. Right. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I got you. So okay. that you can Appreciate read. it. Thank you, yeah, sir. No problem, my brother. Yes. That's what I'm here for. We're here to have a good time. Yes, sir. Let's All see. Right. There they go, right no. there. It just got bad again. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. Well, y'all had to fight struggle with it sorry yeah it's all on the struggle bus today um nfl starts in seven weeks y'all great that's one two that's less than two months seven seven weeks holy pops it's amazing i can't wait so much some football Mm -hmm. oh yeah uh, football football is going to be incredible this year at least for me. I don't know about y'all. Yeah, it's, at least for it's going to be. It's going to be. But we don't have to go and talk. Somebody said, go Bears. That's All it. Right. Go Bears. Um, we talk a little baseball real quick. The Astros. We're talking about the American League first. Astros okay. are number one. Then White Sox. Then the Red Sox. The A's. And then the Rays. I heard you say White Sox. I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> National League. We got uh, Giants, Dodgers, Pedro. Excuse me. Um, Padres. The Mets and the Brewers. That's what we looking like over in MLB. Um, MLS, unfortunately, United is went from the eighth spot to the ninth spot. That's not a good thing. And we're just going to skip all the rest of MLS and just leave it right there. <laughs> but Wait, somebody wish, <laughs> somebody's in first place, right? At least. <laughs> oh, we're, oh, I'm like, I know, I'm, we, I'm sorry. I know we rep for Atlanta, but come I'm, on. I'm just, okay, so <laughs> let me go back. All right. MLS in the East, you got New England, Orlando City, Philadelphia, Columbus, and then New York. Wait, what city is New England? What city is New England? There ain't no city named New England. How they got a it's team? A, it's a look. It's an area. <laughs> <laughs> it's an area. Ain't no um, team, ain't no city or ain't no state. Nothing. Yeah, it's called New England. It's, it's an area. Um, on the west we got Seattle, Kansas City, Colorado, L.A., and then Portland for your major league soccer. Okay, I got you. We got something else that's coming up, what which I am excited about. We actually have a um, boxing. Is is, is uh-huh. we got a few title fights coming up. Tell me about some title fights. There's sir. one coming up this Saturday right here at uh in Atlanta. Somebody fighting for a title here in Atlanta. Yes, who's fighting? Javante Davis. Oh, shit. Yeah, that okay. boy is bad from B-more. Yeah. 
Um, he's fighting this weekend. Then you got a uh, uh, the Charo, one of the Charo twin brothers. Okay. They're fighting in July. Um, you got that uh, Tyson, um, Tyson Fury, and oh, uh, Devontae Wilder I totally fight. Forgot all about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, the third fight is coming okay. up at the end of July. Then you got um, how old is Mike Tyson again? No, 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 not Mike Tyson. No. Oh, Tyson, yeah, yeah, Tyson, Fury. Tyson Fury. I was like, See? oh, sh-. I was like, oh, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Okay. Tyson, Fury. Tyson Fury. That fight. That's a yeah, different yeah. one. Yeah, totally different. Way different. And then you got a really good fight in August. Actually, you got two really good. No, you got one good fight in August. So you got Earl Spinks and Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao. We ain't heard from Pacquiao in a minute. I got you. Earl Spinks and Pacquiao. I'm, I'm here for it. And then you got another social media fight in August also with Jake Paul. Yeah, that next. Mark. But in yeah, better got, news. Oh, we got great news. And much better news. Who's the, who's, who's the news of the day? Please the, let me know. The, the news of the day is oh. Miss Richardson. Miss yes. Richardson, 21-year-old. Can, can you just say her name for me? Shikari? Shikari. I love That's that right. Name. I tell you, I love that name. I love it. She is a beast right now. She is yeah. the youngest Olympian. She is the fastest woman. What's she, 22? No, 21. 21. 21. She's, she's 21. 21, 21. She's the <laughs> fastest in the nation. She won with a 10.86. Yep. Um, she'll be in the Summer Olympics starting July 23rd in what? Tokyo. Tokyo. She um, also has her personal best, which is better than 10.86, right? Yeah, it's t- um, 10.72. Yeah. Yep, 10.72. That girl can run. Um, and she won the LSU title in 2019 with a 10.75. That girl is Beast. fast, y'all. Just in case you don't fast. know, she's the, in the 100, me- um, 100 meter dash. Absolutely. Yeah, which is quarter of a lap. Uh-huh. And she... Are you a, oh. you a big track and field fan? You like track I'm and not, field? I'm not going to answer that question. Okay. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth. Yes, yeah, I, I like track and field. I think everybody enjoys track and field, especially during the Olympics time. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, you know, the national championships. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Uh, we got somebody say she's like Fojo all over again. She is doing a thing. So, yeah. That, that was... That, Oh, and, and what'd she do after she won? She she ran up and gave her, her mama, which is her grandma, a big hug. Yeah. Her um, biological mom passed away last week. Sure. And she, she did it for a family. She said her, her family is what keep her grounded, mm. you know? So just she, imagine someone. Love your people while they are here. That's right. Give them their flowers while they're here. And, and she won the race and she went up in the stands. She right up in the stands. Other people were trying to, you know, congratulate her and hug her. She and was she was like, get out my way. Yeah, she shooed one lady off and kept going and went to her mama and gave her mama a big hug and literally fell in her arms and lapped. It was really, it was really sentimental. It was and good. It was she, good. She had some uh, some special hair going on there. Yeah. Yeah, right. She said uh, um, her girlfriend, um, Told, told her to her, do it. Told her to do it. Which I think it worked out great. Hey, because it, it looks beautiful. It, it by the way, work. she is a beautiful woman. She is definitely a beautiful woman. She did a thing. Absolutely. I love to see us kick ass all day. I do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, do we have any more sports? Are we going into any more? Uh, sports? No. Okay. No. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna let you get into. You know. All right. I'm gonna give y'all so. It is Pride Month. It is Pride Month, right? Happy Pride, everybody! Happy Pride! Absolutely. So I'm gonna my uh, Black History moments or Black History facts today are are all people um, who are LGBTQ plus plus. Absolutely. There you go. So there we go. First, first person on the list, my buddy James Baldwin. Now. He was here from 1924 to 1987. He's a writer and social critic. Baldwin is perhaps known, best known for his 1955 collection of essays, Notes of a Native Son, and his groundbreaking 1956 novel, Giovanni's Room, which depicts themes of homosexuality and bisexuality. Uh, The novel stood out among literary critics because it features all white characters. Unlike the civil rights activists of other novels, which center, ex- which center the experiences of black people, 
Baldwin spent a majority of his literary and activist career educating others um, about black and queer identity, as he did during his famous lecture titled Race, Racism, and the Gay Community. Mm -hmm. At a meeting in New York, uh, at the New York chapter of Black and White Men Together, now known as Men of All Colors Together in 1982. Mm. So, yeah, it's James Baldwin. I'm going to give you a couple more amazing folks. Uh, Andrea Jenkins, she was born in 1961. Uh, Jenkins made history in November 2017 by becoming the first, first openly transgender black woman elected to public office in the U.S. According to LGBTQ advocacy groups and researchers, Jenkins, a Democrat, was one of two openly trans people to win a seat on the Minneapolis City Council in 2017. She's also a published poet and an oral historian at the University of Minnesota. That's wow. that's that's dope. Pretty amazing. It is. But you know what I think is even this is even more awesome. Lori Lightfoot who was born in 1962. Uh, she's a former prosecutor with no experience in elected office. She swept all 50 of Chicago wards in the 2019 mayoral runoff election after promising to, to end the city's famed backroom dealing. Uh, she is the city's first ever black female mayor and its first openly LGBTQ mayor. That's Chicago, man. Chicago has a a black female mayor who is openly gay. That's hey, incredible. That's amazing. That That is all of your Black History Moments Thank for you, Pride sir. Month. There you go. Speaking of Pride Month, yes. being that we, you know, we had a lot of questions asked us about it, and neither one of us are... We are not professionals. We're either. not experts at it. Mm -mm. We decided to get an expert to talk about absolutely. you know the questions in which were asked to us right absolutely um by the way people do post topics to us all the time topics questions um subjects to talk about um and so we we take those into consideration and we 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 try to sit back and say you know well what would we talk about for this topic and that topic and some things we can talk intelligently about. Other things we bring in other experts, you know, so we do it justice, do the topic justice. That's right. And so that's what we did today. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, we're bringing this Siobhan Lyons. There we go. With Shine Counseling and Consultant. Absolutely. Right? Let's, yes. let's bring her on. Please, let's, let's do that. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody was asking about uh, Miss Richardson's hair, and she had this bright orange hair, like your shirt. Yes, correct, like my shirt. It was beautiful, though. It was it was lovely, um, and it worked. It it looked great while she was speeding down the track for That's those right. whole ten seconds. <laughs> ah, there we are, Miss nah. Miss Lyons. Don't forget to unmute yourself, please. Hey, me. Can yes, you hear me now? You now? Yes, we can. Great. Welcome to the Mega How are you guys? Show. Welcome back to the Mega Quarren Show. There you go. Because she is. And you know, I love support. being here. Thank you for having me back. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So we came up with this topic. We was like, you know what? It's um, Pride Month and there's a lot going on. And, you know, we get a lot of questions from people about all different subjects, topics, and everything else. And somebody, well, a couple of people like, Y'all not gonna speak on Pride Month? And we was like, we can, oh, we can. That's not a problem, you know. And then like the after the thirteenth person says something to us, it was like, you know what? We need to go ahead and put this show together so that we don't get in trouble. Yeah. And um, but it's not our area of expertise. It's not. So that's the reason why we was kind of hesitant. Not because you know we don't support the LBGTQ plus community. We just don't want to speak sure. incorrectly about it. Absolutely. Right. That's so, right. We do well, not need you guys putting out bad information. Exactly. Exactly. And Knowing being, us, we probably would. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, don't, it's not bad information. It's yeah. just our perspective. Insensitive. And not, right. It might be a little insensitive. It, it may be. And that's something we don't yeah. want to do. Yeah. So that's why we have a professional here. Mm -hmm. Um, So 
How are you today? Let me let's start there. Yes, I am excellent. I am excellent. No complaints. Great. So I would like for you to introduce yourself to everyone with all of your, your accolades behind your name so that people will know exactly who you are and understand that you are a professional and what you do. Well, my name is Siobhan Lyons. I am a licensed professional counselor here in Georgia. I am also, I'm also, excuse me, a national certified counselor. Uh, I am the owner of Shine Counseling and Consulting. So if you are looking for individual family counseling, also some life coaching, I am here for you. All right. See, there you go. How can they find you? Let's, let's start there so people can find you. Uh, let's see, where am I? You can find me on Psychology Today. You can find me on Open Path. You can find me on Therapy for Black Girls. And I also have a website, shinecounseling.com. There we go. Shinecounseling.com, everybody. Shinecounseling.com. But I suspect all those other sites give reviews and all that other great stuff, right? Of course, of oh, course. There we go. And you can also find some reviews on my website. Oh great! Oh great! See, boom. Um, I'm gonna start off with one of the questions that that was asked to us. Sure. Okay. Um, how does one support someone who is LBGTQ plus, even if one does not agree? Okay. Well, that's what you learn to do is just kind of separate your personal perspective or what you feel is right and wrong from that individual. You let them know that your friendship or whatever relationship you have is, is not based on their gender identity or their sexuality. Okay. If that is something that is true and honest for you, if you do find that your values are going to overwhelm that situation or you find yourself in a position where you will disrespect or dishonor that person, you have to bow out gracefully. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Makes sense. So, so how do you keep, yes. how, how does one keep the lines of communication open in that, in that situation? Ask questions. A lot of times people just don't have an understanding of how people feel or what it means to be LGP, LGTB plus, okay? So just ask questions, get an understanding of it. That's all. If you don't have an understanding, sit down with your friend and explain your perspective, have them explain their perspective, have an open conversation. Just be there for them, active listening. Just be there. Keyword active listening. That is important. That is important because most people we don't listen, listen. They listen to respond, not uh, to hear yes. what someone is saying. This is true. Yes. So most people listen yes. to respond and not listen to understand and hear. So that is very important. Active listening. I need to put that in. It's 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 not a debate. You know, when if somebody's coming out to you, they're not coming out to you to convince you to accept them. So it's, it's not a debate. It's they're just, letting you know yeah. who they are as a person. Absolutely. And it doesn't mean that they're coming on to you either. They just, they just letting you know, hey. <laughs> I don't, no, I agree. I, I said I agree. <laughs> how you gonna laugh and how you gonna get quiet on me? Both of y'all just, just let me float out there. I'm just saying anyway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Um. Another question that was asked, um, what does one do if their child has not come out as of yet, but they feel like oh. they, they, they are. You recognize your child might be gay or, or something Strange. questioning, oh, yeah. questioning at they, least questioning. Yeah. That's a good one. And then how does a parent now handle that? Right. You wait for your child to come out. You wait, even if you already know, even if in the back of your mind, you've already planned their wedding, you wait for your child to come out okay. because they don't want to, you don't want to feel that you have to force a label onto them. So let them figure out who they are. And when they are ready, they will come out to you and let you know who they are. Okay. How do you, how when that time comes, you know, don't say I, I knew. <laughs> you don't want to kind of, you know, yeah, I knew. <laughs> throw it in their faces. 
I've seen that in some some sitcoms. Yeah, yeah. sitcoms, Come movie. I, 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 that that could be something if you have that type of relation with your child. But on a typical basis, speed, I understand. Give them a hug. I love you. Okay. I'm here for you if you ever want to talk. Things of that nature. Gotcha. So. If you have questions, ask in that moment. Don't be insensitive. Try not to um, push your prejudices off on them. Okay. The que- so, so a lot that, of that is just asking questions and having open communication. I agree with that. That's awesome to, to, to know and mm-hmm. to do. Um, I think we should be active listeners anyway in, in all our conversations. <laughs> but uh, that is hard to do at times. So. But I wonder specifically, like, if uh, you, you you might want to treat your child a certain way, you know, it's like, oh, I, you know, I might want to dress my daughter up for, you know, the eighth grade dance, and she doesn't want to dress that way. So now I, I, if I'm not confronting her about that, then I guess how I do just, you handle a situation yeah. like that? Well, they're showing you signs, but they haven't come out as of yet. So you're, I guess you're questioning yourself now. How do you, do you approach? Do you not approach? You Do you, you know, I, I don't know. Cause I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you let them lead. You let them lead. So if you, if you're not trying to push a dress off on your child, if you are okay with your child being able to present themselves to the world how they see fit, and you say, hey, I thought you would like a dress. And they're like, no, I want these pants. You're like, okay. Okay. That's what can see though. <laughs> it's what? <laughs> you said it's like King Sierra. <laughs> Where did this guy come from? <laughs> you know what? Don't answer that. Don't answer that. You, Listen, <laughs> I feel like she can have some pants on underneath her dress if that is the case. But, you know, trying you know to what? work that out as, as a team, come together, compromise. That's where the communication comes in. I love that answer. <laughs> I applaud you for that answer. That was a great answer. Great answer. Um, <laughs> just I'm just I'm just asking because I mean when I say that there were probably huh. Uh, so says, your mic is on. Says, uh, 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 nope. Mm-mm. Now I'm enjoying the conversation. Hey, this is hi. The hand. The hand. Yeah. Um, Hello. Uh, you know, so for what I'm hearing, it sounds like when it comes to uh, parents and their children, and I understand that everybody kind of you know runs their household differently. You kind of need to treat it like a dance, and you know, typically in a dance, there's a leader and then there's a follower, and so as yes. the child is looking to uh, express themselves, you know, about who they are you need to pretty much let mm-hmm. them lead in, in that said dance. Is that correct? Yes. And, you, and you're there to support them along the way. Thank you. It's, it's interesting. And let I them guess. know. Continue, continue to reassure them that you are there to support them. I'm here. I'm here to support you. Just continue to reassure them so that when their time comes for them to present themselves to you, they will. Got it. It's good. I think it's funny because I think we can go on tangent of children and and coming out and all that like it can go like so deep and so long but our show is only so long so i'm gonna get to our next question how about that um so now we talked about the kids coming out what if the parents are uh same-sex couple or lgbtq plus couple right Mm -hmm. what what how do they how do they then come out to friends or friends and or kids yeah. and, or the rest of the family? Even. All, all the rest of the family. That yeah. is so true. Okay. Well, if you're going to put, you're going to approach it differently. You're going to definitely speak to your children differently than you would speak to your family and your friends. Because as parents, we always want to pull the card of I'm the parent, except what I say, except what I do. However, in that, in, in that aspect, that's not the card you want to pull because you are 
you are presenting something that they might not be equipped to handle. So you have to allow them to ask you questions. You have to allow them to grasp the understanding of what is going on and what you are saying and communicating to them. Don't get offended. Don't take it personal. And let them be comfortable with what they're comfortable with. So if they're saying, I'm not all the way comfortable with your partner spending the night right here in my space, you have to honor and respect that and move accordingly. Am I saying give your you know, life away to your children, let them run? No. However, you still have to respect and honor the fact that this is all a transition for everybody. There you go. Transition. That's that's the important word in that one. Yeah, it's that's a transition. A, and you have to be delicate in your transition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Just know I love you, sir. Yeah, it's okay. I, I, I love you, too. We're Thank here you. for you. <laughs> delicate. And I have questions. I bet. I bet. Yeah, yeah that's important. That's important. Um. <laughs> In regards to your family and friends, it's kind of the same aspect, you know, just let them know, you know, hey, I am a trans man, trans woman, I am bisexual, I am lesbian, Uh, I feel as if that that should not change our relationship, you know, and I don't want it to change our relationship, but this is who I am as a person, and they kind of go from there. Allow them to ask you questions. Uh, don't allow them to disrespect you and dishonor you. Don't feel the need to have to sacrifice yourself for the sake of these relationships. I, so does that, the question I have is, you have a friend, you may have a friend who does not know that you are different, right? Or, or live a different or, lifestyle. Live a different not different. Lifestyle. Not different. <laughs> My, I'm sorry. You're right. Live a different lifestyle, though. And they don't agree with it at all. Like, okay. is it? I'm, my question is, I'm like, is it important to come out to that person? Like, they're good friends. You're good friends with them. But they definitely don't have the same perspective on your lifestyle. Okay. So are you asking that should you hide yourself, who you are, the core essence of who you are, because to maintain a relationship with somebody that you know would not. Correct. That is correct. You're right. Um, That's the question he's asking. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) And it's so funny because that, that, that translates into so many different areas as well. Absolutely. You know, it it, it translates Mm -hmm. in so many different areas and I'm not an expert, so I'm not going to answer it the way it's probably supposed to be answered. I'm going to answer it the way I would answer it for me, not speaking about coming out or anything, but just having someone that does not or would not accept what I have to say. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Once you accept who you are as a person, you, me yes. personally, I could care less what somebody else thinks. And that's in any aspect of my life, regardless to what I'm doing, you know, like, oh, you know how par- parents disown kids because they didn't become doctors like them or lawyers like them. And they decide to sure. be a YouTube influencer and they like that's not a real job. And it's like, well, you think of millions, that's a real job, you know? So sure. that was my answer. I, I mean, you just have to accept your, yourself for who you are and whatever happens with other people. As long as it doesn't affect your your household and your, your wallet. Sure. I got you. Okay. That, that's my answer. That ain't that ain't the professional. Answer. <laughs> <laughs> we have to, sometimes we have to be mindful of the fact that to tell someone that they have to keep quiet about who they are in order to have a relationship with someone. All that does is foster isolation. And in isolation that breeds depression, that breeds anxiety, that breeds suicide. You are basically make, making them feel as if they have to hide themselves in order to be a part of the world. And that's not what you want to send off. That's not the energy you want to give. So even if you, that's why I said, if you know that you can't accept it for whatever reason, just bow out gracefully. Don't make it, it's you. Mm -hmm. This is why it's because you're gay. 
No, it's because I personally, I can't accept it. It's me. I got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So it'd be then, yeah, that person would say, I, I'm sorry. And then we just can't hang out because hey. I'm not going to hide myself. Listen, this conversation is getting good. But you know what I would like to do? I would love for you to stick around for a little while. I'm going to put you back okay. in the waiting room. And I would love for people to actually join our after show so Please that we can get more in depth and talk about this topic. I mean, I'm pretty sure people have a ton of things to ask, just like they had to ask us and you can get some professional mm -hmm. answers. Um, so again, shine counseling and consult, um, consult, shine counseling. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at my, 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 um, production manager, making sure I, I was gonna get to that. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> he, he keeping me on track right now. Appreciate it. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. But final words, yeah. Before we before we go to the <laughs> after show, thanks, sir. So final words from me. Yes, please. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can you can just wrap up. Tell people that you know where they can find you again and all that. Uh, again, you can find me at shinecounseling.com. You can always send me an email, shinecounseling at gmail.com. Um, I don't I don't even have an outro. I didn't know I was gonna have an outro, but how <laughs> it's all good. That's the good people. Um the link is in the comments to our after show. Okay. Okay. Please join the after show. The after show, the after show is um on, on Zoom. On Zoom. So we're gonna post it to yeah. our wall. It's, so it'll yeah, be we'll there. Post to the wall. Miss okay. Lyons, I do appreciate you. Hold on, don't you're welcome. Me. We'll be right back to you. Man, that was very informative. That was good conversation. That yeah, was we, great. We really have great shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that was great dialogue. Know. And I mean, I'm pretty sure people are going to tune in to the after show um, to see what else we're talking about. This it was educational for me. It I, was. I hope it was educational for all of our listeners out there, too. Definitely, definitely. Listen, good people. Every Tuesday, we're right here. 815, the Mega Boom. Quan Show. Like and share, share and like. It doesn't cost a thing. Um, help us grow and build. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell your mother, your uncle, your cousin, your ex baby daddy, ex wife, all of them, all of them whoever lives in California, Aruba, whatever. Just tell people to tune into the Mega Quan Show. Y'all got people living in Aruba? Tell them to tune in for sure. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to get we. I don't think we reached Aruba yet, so let's. We, we have actually. We did. We oh, did. Snap. We I did. missed out. Okay, I actually put a list together of all the places that people oh, have tuned yeah. in for my show. That's awesome. Anyway, good people. Again, check out the Mega Quan Show. Come back next week, please. Um, next week, but also check out tonight the after right show tonight. After this. Right now, as after. the bar turns on Thursday, as the bar turns, and the return of. Smoking vibes this what? Sunday, 10 p.m. We've been Check missing that. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. We Peace all out, good. We we back in here. All right. Y'all have a good one. God bless and good night. Thank you. <laughs>